Grammar Bites, Lesson 23, Where Punctuation Goes. Remember that Grammar Bites is a series. This means I want you to watch all the videos so you learn all the rules of grammar. If you haven't done so already, go back and start at Lesson 1. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you where to put punctuation marks. Now, maybe you like to write with a pen or a pencil, or maybe you like to use a computer and type your letters and your punctuation there. The rules I'm going to tell you apply to both. This is the kind of paper I like to write on with a pen, sometimes a pencil, usually a pen but you'll notice that there are lines on this. Now the lines are to tell us where to put our letters and where to put our punctuation marks. So let's look at just one line and I'm gonna give you a sentence. Can you read it? My name is Shona, it's about me. What do you notice about the letters and the line? I notice that the letters are just above the line not quite touching. What happens when the letters are a little bit lower, kind of on top of the line? It's a bit hard to read the letters. What do you notice about the letters now? There's a big space between the bottom of the letters and the line. This makes it a little bit confusing. I'm not sure, are the letters supposed to go on the line? The best place for letters to go is just above the line, but not on the line. Now punctuation's a little bit the same way. There's a right place and a wrong place for it. Let me show you. My name is Shona is a sentence. So what punctuation mark should I put at the end of the sentence to show my thought is done? A period. Where do you think the period goes? The period goes right next to the last letter and just above the line so I can see the period. Let me try again. Did I do it correctly? No. What's the problem? The period is too far away from the last letter. The period needs to be beside the A with no space. Let me try again. How'd I do? Nope, incorrect. The period needs to be just above the line beside the A. There we go, now it's right. Let's learn where the other punctuation goes. First, I wanna show you this. This is something that's helpful when people are learning how to write letters. Now, do you remember that there's two forms of every letter? I talked about this way back in lesson seven when I talked about capitalization. So there are 26 letters and two forms of each. Do you remember what these are called? Uppercase letters. Some people call them capitals. And these letters are called lowercase letters or small letters. If we use this, it helps us to know where to put the letters. Here's an example. Okay, I want to use this to show you where to put the punctuation. So the period goes right down at the bottom. So does the comma, it goes below the line. Then the exclamation mark goes between the lines. Same thing with the question mark. And then the colon is kind of in the middle, a little bit down. Same thing with the semicolon. And then the hyphen goes sort of in the middle. And if we're using an apostrophe, it goes up high. So now you know where punctuation marks go when you're writing them by hand. Let me show you on the computer. I like dogs, period, space. Do you like dogs? Question mark, space. I really, comma, really, comma, really want a puppy, exclamation mark, space. I want a golden hyphen, caval, oops, I spelled that wrong, cavalier puppy, period. A golden cavalier 
would look like this. So cute. Okay, let's keep typing. Ready? The puppy would say, open quotation mark, woof woof, close quotation mark, period. Maybe you want to pause the video and find and name the punctuation. Okay, today's lesson was where to put punctuation marks. So what I hope you take away is that the placement of the punctuation mark depends on which mark it is. So we did a period and it goes right beside the last letter down low. And then I showed you some other ones too. Thanks for learning with me. We'll see you next time. New videos in the Grammar Bite series will be posted on Thursdays and Sundays. Remember to subscribe on YouTube. You can also find my videos for free on my website, www.mycanadianenglish.com.